have you ever wondered what it's like to tour Yemen? As we touch down in Sana'a, the capital, an air of anticipation fills us. We're greeted with a panorama of ancient beauty, a cityscape like no other. Yemen's capital has a unique architecture that marries antiquity with vibrancy. The buildings, with their distinctive rammed earth and burnt brick designs, are a testament to the region's rich history and cultural heritage. The moment we step off the plane, we're enveloped in a warm welcome that is as intoxicating as the sweet aroma of Yemeni coffee that fills the air. The locals, with their friendly smiles and genuine hospitality, make us feel right at home. From the bustling markets to the quiet corners of the city, the essence of Sana'a is in its people, their traditions and their kindness. With such a warm welcome, we are already excited to discover what else Yemen has on offer. Stepping out into Sana'a is like stepping back in time. In the heart of Yemen, Sana'a, one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world, waits to tell its story. With buildings dating back to the 11th century, the city stands as a testament to the passage of time, each structure a page in the book of history. Nestled within this ancient city is the old city of Sana'a. Encased within its towering clay walls are hundreds of unique, gingerbread-like houses, each boasting intricate frieze designs that are a distinctive mark of Yemeni architecture. The Old City, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a maze of narrow, winding streets where the past and the present intertwine, creating a charming harmony of old-world charm and modern-day hustle. As we meander through the labyrinthine streets, the aromatic waft of spices leads us to Souk al Mil, the salt market. Here, the air is thick with the scent of frankincense and myrrh, and the market buzzes with the energy of traders haggling over an array of goods, from spices and grains to textiles and silverware. The souk is a sensory overload, a vibrant tapestry of sights, sounds, and smells that encapsulates the spirit of Yemen. The cityscape of Sana'a is punctuated by the grandeur of the Saleh Mosque. This modern architectural marvel with its towering minarets and expansive courtyard is a stark contrast to the traditional old city, showcasing the city's ability to embrace the new while honoring its roots. And what's a day of exploration without indulging in the local cuisine? Yemeni food is a delightful melange of flavors, with dishes like salta, a meat stew served with a bubbly fenugreek froth, and mandi, a fragrant rice dish with slow-cooked meat. And let's not forget the coffee. Yemen is the birthplace of the coffee culture, and a cup of traditional Yemeni coffee is a must-try. Sana'a is indeed a city that teases all the senses. It's a city that invites you to lose yourself in its winding streets, to taste its unique flavors, and to immerse yourself in its rich history. So come, step into the time machine that is Sana'a, and let it transport you to a world that seamlessly blends the past and the present. Next, we embark on a journey to one of the most alien-looking places on Earth, Socotra Island. A world apart, Socotra Island is a place that time seems to have forgotten, nestled in the azure waters of the Indian Ocean off the coast of Yemen. Our voyage to Socotra is a journey into the extraordinary. As we approach, the island's unique landscape unfurls before us, a testament to the resilience and adaptability of nature. Socotra's biodiversity is unparalleled, with nearly 700 endemic species that can be found nowhere else on Earth. It's like stepping into a real-life science fiction novel. But among all of Socotra's natural wonders, the most iconic are the dragon's blood trees. These umbrella-shaped trees are as fantastical as their name suggests, with thick branches that reach toward the sky like outstretched fingers. The tree gets its name from the crimson sap it produces, which was once believed to be dragon's blood. This otherworldly tree is a symbol of Socotra's unique ecology, a living testament to the island's isolation and distinctive evolutionary path. Yet Socotra is not just about nature, it's also about the people who call this island home. The Socotri people are as unique and resilient as the environment they live in. They lead a peaceful, simple lifestyle, largely untouched by the hustle and bustle of modern life. Their culture is a rich tapestry of ancient traditions and customs woven together over centuries. The Socotri people have a deep connection with their environment. They are the guardians of Socotra's unique biodiversity, living in harmony with the land and the sea. Their life is a testament to the delicate balance between humans and nature, a balance that is becoming increasingly rare in our modern world. As we leave Socotra, we carry with us memories of an island that is unlike any other. 
of a people who live in harmony with their surroundings, and of a biodiversity that is as unique as it is fragile. Socotra is a reminder of the beauty and diversity of our planet, of the importance of conservation, and of the profound impact that isolation can have on evolution. Socotra Island, a place where nature truly comes alive. From the natural wonders of Socotra, we travel to the man-made marvels of Shibam. Shibam, a city that stands as a testament to the incredible ingenuity of our ancestors. Nestled in the heart of Yemen's Hadramaut Valley, this ancient city is often referred to as the Manhattan of the desert, and it's not hard to see why. Rising out of the arid desert landscape are towering mud brick buildings, some as high as seven stories that have stood the test of time for nearly 1,500 years. These skyscrapers, the earliest examples of vertical urban planning, were ingeniously designed to protect residents from floods and desert heat. The thick mud walls provide natural insulation, keeping the interiors cool during the day and warm at night. It's a perfect blend of form and function, a testament to mankind's ability to adapt and thrive in even the harshest of environments. But Shabam is not just an architectural marvel. It was also a vital hub along the ancient spice route. The city's strategic location made it a bustling center of trade and commerce, where merchants from far and wide would come to barter their goods. The air would have been filled with the scent of frankincense, myrrh, and other exotic spices, a sensory experience that would have been as intoxicating as it was overwhelming. Today, Shabam is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, preserving this remarkable city for future generations. It's a living museum, a window into the past, and a stark reminder of our ancestors' ability to create something beautiful and enduring in the face of adversity. This city, with its towering skyscrapers and labyrinthine streets, is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. It's a place where history and architecture intertwine, where every brick tells a story of a time long past but not forgotten. So, as we leave the Manhattan of the desert behind, we carry with us the memory of a city that defied the odds and continues to stand tall. Shabam, a testament to mankind's ingenuity and resilience. As all good things must come to an end, so does our journey in Yemen. We cast a final lingering glance at the rugged beauty of this land, a tapestry woven from dunes of sand and peaks of mountains, punctuated by the vibrant colors and sounds of its cities. The locals, with their warm smiles and hearty laughter, have become more than just faces in a crowd. They've shared their homes, their stories, and their hearts with us, enriching our journey in ways we could never have anticipated. They wave us off, their goodbyes carrying promises of a return. The impressions Yemen has left on us are profound and lasting. The intricate dance of its history and culture, the allure of its landscapes, the warmth of its people, these are memories we will carry with us long after our footsteps have faded from its sands. Yemen, a country rich in history, culture, and natural beauty, has left us with unforgettable memories.